you've probably heard of the Internet of Things, IoT, where everyday objects like fridges, cars, and even light bulbs are connected to the Internet. But what happens when the connection goes beyond objects and involves the human body itself? Internet of Bodies, or IOB, is a network of human bodies whose integrity and functionality rely at least in part on the Internet and related technologies, such as artificial intelligence. Sounds advanced, right? But it's very likely that you're already a part of this network. The Internet of Bodies can be divided into three generations based on how integrated the devices are with the human body. The first generation involves external devices like smartwatches and fitness rings, which collect health data from the surface. These devices are common and non-invasive, making them an easy entry point into the IOB world. The second generation is more advanced, involving internal devices that are either implanted or ingested. These include pacemakers, smart prosthetics, and digital pills that transmit medical data from inside the body. The third generation goes even further, merging entirely with the human body while maintaining a real-time connection to external machines and the internet, representing the ultimate fusion of technology and biology. One of the most well-known real-life examples of the Internet of Bodies is Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain-computer interface company. Neuralink's device, known as the Link, is a coin-sized chip implanted under the skull that can interpret brain signals, allowing users to control external devices with their thoughts. In one notable case, a paralyzed patient used the Link to play chess on his laptop, although there were some technical issues reported post-procedure. Another pioneering company in this space is Synchron, an Australian neurotech firm. Synchron became the first to receive FDA approval for human trials of its BCI technology. Their system has enabled paralyzed patients to send emails and text messages just by thinking. The Internet of Bodies, IOB, presents major risks, especially regarding data protection. These devices can track and store sensitive personal information, which could be exploited by governments or companies for surveillance or profit. Additionally, the threat of cyber attacks poses a significant safety risk, as seen in 2007, when former US Vice President Dick Cheney disabled his heart implant's wireless feature to avoid hacking attempts. IOB also raises ethical concerns, such as widening inequality, if only the wealthy have access to enhancements. Moreover, the lack of regulatory oversight for consumer-grade devices adds another layer of complexity, leaving questions of autonomy and accountability unresolved. As we've seen, the Internet of Bodies has enormous potential to revolutionize healthcare and expand human capabilities, but it also brings complex challenges. With countries like Chile, leading the way in neuroprotection laws, it's clear that safeguarding mental privacy and autonomy will become increasingly crucial. As we look to the future, what do you think? Will the benefits of the Internet of Bodies outweigh the risks, or are we treading dangerous ground? Let us know in the comments.